my fellow crafters and welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. Thank you for being here. I'm going to have a fun video for you today. I'm going to be working with Lavinia stamps again. I'm in love with those, uh, but I guess you noticed it. Uh, I'm, however, I must say that I'm a bit cranky because I was just filming a video, but I forgot to press record. Now, this is what I was making, but I do want to show you because I love how this turned out. I just didn't film it. But I did want to show you. So I might film it another time, but for some reason I don't always like to do that, to re-record something. But anyway, I've used a beautiful Altenew, um stencil and yeah, I kept it pretty plain. I wanted to do a simple Lavinia card because they turn out to be quite elaborate uh, when I do them at least. So I wanted to do a simple one. This is what it turned out. <clears throat> now let's switch my camera. Today I'm going to be working with all of this. I've got some new colors in from the dye inks. Um, and what I'm going to be doing, let me put these to the side so we can get some space. I've got two backgrounds here. I'm going to start with one. I might finish two. I'm not sure. You never know. Um, but these are backgrounds I made a while ago uh, in a video that I made six different backgrounds. I will link it somewhere here, there, I think. Uh, there in the top it will be. Um, and this is the card fronts that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to start with this one and if, if it goes quick I'll do another one and otherwise this will be for another video. So I've got several stamps here. If I'm going to do the second one I'm going to use this one. Um, but as I said I'm going to start with this one and this is for me this is a breathtaking stamp so you will see it. Now what I have here is a sheet from uh, Elizabeth Craft Design's release paper from the double-sided adhesive, but that works perfectly well to ink blend on. Um, and I'm gonna start by, uh, yeah, inking up this background slightly more. Um, because this is a background that I made uh, with oxides, um, sort of it had to look like the Northern Lights for me. Um, however, because I wanted it to be a bit brighter, I've put some micro glaze over it, which is fine. You can stamp over that. I'm not sure, however, how these element inks from Lavinia handle that. It's sort of coated paper, I think. So let's give it a go. Let's see how it works out. Um, and I'm gonna start, but since these colors are new, I've got a scrap piece of paper here and I do want to um, yeah, test the colors out before I do anything else. Make sure it's the right color, but I think this is. So what I'm going to do, like here's that blue and here, I'm just gonna see if I can intensify that blue a bit. Uh, it works, look. Not bad. I'm going to do the same. Here at the bottom, and to this, just to brighten it up ever so slightly. So I'm going to do the same with a violet. Now I don't have a violet uh, Lavinia brush, so I'm going to use just my normal brush that I use for my distress inks. Those are dye inks as well, so. I'm sure this will work out. Yeah, I like how this is just picking up that slightly the, the purple underneath and giving it a bit more oomph. Does that make sense? Oomph? Yeah. So it's not much. It's ever so slightly. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lime punch and I've already used that on the other one, so I know how this one works. I'm just ever so slightly going to go over this salvage patina. I just want this to be a bit more intense. And this is actually exactly what I was hoping for that would happen. It looks like it's glowing. That was the idea. I'm 
Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. These inks are actually, they're very wet. Uh, so yeah, if you dip in once, you see, it's, it's giving you a lot of color, but yeah, they're very pigmented, intense colors. This looks like the Northern Lights, right? To me, it does. To me, it does. Right, put this one to the side. Before I do anything else, I'm going to stamp. But I want to make sure that this is completely dry. Since it's got the micro glaze on it, I'm not risking it. So this is dry. I'm going to take my Misty and I'm going to put my paper right here in the corner. Right there. And I've got sticky grid in there, so that will hold it in place. Now I'm going to take the stamp. This is called Raven. And I'm going to position her on my paper where I want her. Now, I'm going to work with the moon here. So I'm going to place her a bit lower, like so. Pick her up. Then I'm going to take my Versafine ink in Black Onyx and ink her up. And then I'm going to take my uh, easy to glide tool to give some even pressure. And I'm going to do that again because this paper is watercolor paper um, and it has some structure. So that's why I'm using the Misty to get a good impression. This is already, oh, I love her. I love this stamp. I love all the vineyard stamps, but this one, yeah. I saw it and I had to have it. There we go. Perfect. Because I'm not sure what I want. I want this tree to come in like this. Yeah, I'll do it in the misty. Just want to make sure that it's stamping correctly. Now, this is not such a solid stamp, so it should be fine with one go. But, yeah, there we go. I'm using the Misty because I just want to be sure. Next, I want a second generation stamp. Um... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scrap piece of paper that I had earlier, put that over here, stamp it, take it off. and stamp it again. And this should give us a second generation stamp. Yeah, giving it a bit more distance. Good. Taking her out. Next, I'm gonna take this tree. And this is called Tree of Hope. I'm gonna put that just coming in like that. So I'm going to take my stamp block. And since I'm only using this bit, I'm going to put that on my block and the rest is just peeking out. just want some other branches to come in. Not too much. This is it for now. Then I'm going to dry it again. Now, so far, so good. Uh, over this um, 
microglaze, it's actually, it's not smudging, it's not smearing, um, but that's why I'm drying it because this pigment ink will definitely take longer to dry on this uh, microglaze now. So that's that. Um, next I'm going to take, uh, this is the foliage set two, this little leaf thingy. I'm gonna put that on my block. Got a little block here. And I'm gonna stamp that all over the branches. I'm just debating with myself what color to use. Um, I'm gonna try that with this Merlot color. See what it does. I don't know, never used it before. Yeah, that's working out fine. I love these little foliages. Just got my paper to the side that I will put it on first for, to get a second impression. And I'm going to do the same up here. There we go. Now over here, I've got the acetate circle masks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little mask, the smaller one, I'm gonna put that over her, uh, over her and I think I want that right over here. And I'm going to take um, Twilight. Tapping off some excess and just very lightly gonna make a moon. There we go. That's pretty, right? Next, I'm coming in with my picked fence, picket fence, on my finger, making sure it's clean. And just very lightly lightening up that center of the moon. Just wanted that uh, to be a bit lighter than the surrounding area. Now, what I'm gonna do next is with the same brush, if I can find it, I think it was this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna darken the edge. I'm gonna go around. A bit heavier on the corners. I just want these edges to be ever so slightly a bit darker. So the focus is going to be more and more on the inside. Right. That's that. I think I'm done with ink blending. So next I'm coming in with my white Posca pen and I'm just gonna give her uh, Raven a bit of an outline. Another look that this, the moon is shining on her. And what I'm doing with the Posca pen is I'm just scribbling on a bit and then with my finger, I'm coming in to blend that out. Ever so slightly do a small outline around the moon. And then you see all these little dots. I'm just going to come in and add some white dots here and there. And I'm going to do the same with my purple Posca pen. I'm just dotting it on, no rhyme or reason. I'm 
me some white dots here. And finally, some yellow dots. There we go. Now, this needs to dry for a minute. Because what I want to do, I want to put some glue dots right in her wings. And around that outline that I just drew around the moon. Then I'm going to take my microfine glitter from Elizabeth Craft Designs, the silk microfine glitter. I'm just going to put that over the moon and over her wings. Now, don't worry, that glitter that is everywhere, I will just brush that off. But before I brush it up, I'm just going to take a piece of release sheet. Uh, that's, why is that? That's very slippery. I'm just going to polish this glitter that I've just put on the wings into the glue and around the moon. That will make sure it's really on there. Then I will brush this off. Now it's a shame you can't see it. Uh, but it's really nice to sparkle around the moon, sparkle on her wings. So I think I'm going to leave her to that. I'm not going to do any more to her, to it. It's a pretty card. Um, I think, yeah, it speaks for itself. So I'm going to get a card base and put this on there. Okay. I've got a beautiful card base. This is a dark gray, beautiful, shiny one. I think it's very pretty with this nice combination. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the biggest one of the master layouts one uh, rectangles and I'm going to cut this one out. I'm just going to line it up where I want it and put it through my die cut machine. Here we go. So that is nicely trimmed off and that fits on my card base beautifully. I just have to trim off a little bit from the bottom. But that's not a problem. So let's put this on using some tape. There we go. I'm just going to trim this bottom off. This is because the master layouts, uh, they are a USA 2 size. My card bases are a European uh, A6. Slight difference. So, fixed now. We've got a beautiful US A2 card here. Love how this one turned out. I'm not going to do the other one. That's going to be taking too much time. But uh, this one, yeah, I love how it turned out. If you like it too, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going for 1,500 and when I reach that, uh, I will do a nice draw of a beautiful die set. So uh, be sure to join. Uh, thank you for watching this one and I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.